Something really cool is happening lately. Well, it's been happening for a few years now, but something even recent just reminded me of this. Basically, I'm hearing from guys who have been in the Hooked program and they're telling me, you know, Trip, I'm getting all these crazy signs that these girls are interested in me and now I'm getting dates and some guys are getting girlfriends. And this one guy is like, yeah, I'm totally seeing it and I can totally understand when the girl is interested in me and I know how to push the interaction forward. He just gets it now because he's seeing the signs because he knows how to trigger attraction and get a woman invested in him, okay? So what he's saying to me is the girl is specifically showing him these signs as if she's purposefully doing it because she's showing so interested. And that's what a lot of times women do. They will purposefully do something to show you, hey, what's up, buddy? I'm interested in you. Let's go. You're next. Make a move. Let's keep this going. And sometimes it's painfully obvious. Sometimes it's not. And sometimes it can be confusing, which is why I made this video, because I don't want you to be confused anymore when you get these signs. These are pretty much three surefire signs that she likes you, that she's very attracted to you. And I don't want you to mess this up. Because if you know exactly if they're interested, then you can push the interaction forward. You can practice dominance, which I talk about in the Hooked program, where I talk about dominance and making sure that you're the one leading the interaction. And it's so much easier to do that when you get the signs that she's really, really interested in you. Now listen, sometimes you might not get the signs. That doesn't mean you shouldn't. That doesn't mean you shouldn't push the interaction forward. But still, when you see these, it's like, boom, green light, you're in, let's go. It's just important also that you have this social awareness, right? So what I'm teaching you here is some social awareness. These are things I did not know or were just really unclear about back when I was learning this stuff. Like sometimes I'd see these signs and I'd think, oh, maybe she's interested in me. Like I wasn't able to tell. And then I remember reading books like The Game where guys were going out and meeting girls, these pickup artists, and one guy said, I knew the minute she was attracted to me. And that to me sounded like a, a superpower. But now I can do that. And now it seems fairly easy. And in this video, it's gonna make it a little bit easier for you. Of course, you're gonna have to be with a woman either on the phone, on a virtual date, or in person to really know for sure and get those signs. But at least this is gonna help you and give you some of that education. The first one is this, and this is gonna be specifically in person. She's finding excuses to touch you. Now, I want you to be careful. There are some women out there who are just a little bit more touchy-feely. But even women who are kind of known as touchy-feely or touch a lot, who are just doing that because that's part of their personality, they're never gonna do it as much as the girl who's actually attracted to you. That girl is gonna be doing it a lot and always finding some weird reason to touch you. So here's an example of like a weird reason to touch you. Let's imagine you guys are talking, you're at a party, you're at a bar, and she has to move out of the way because someone is going by her. Well, of course, you can just kind of move out of the way. There's any direction you can go to get out of the way, but she might lean in closer to you or kind of touch you in your arm or chest for balance when she doesn't necessarily have to do that. Like that would be a, a sign that she might be interested. Now, I want to be very clear here. If she just does that, not so sure, but that's just an example of one of the many ways that she's continuously finding some sort of excuse to be closer to you physically and to be touching you in some way to make that contact, all right? So you're gonna see this happening quite a bit when you're in person. Here's another thing too. If you're on a date with her and this is happening, I mean, it's done, like it's game over. Like she's very attracted to you. Like you don't need any other signs you can move the interaction forward to a kiss and to another date and even to sex. Like you're, you're good at this point. I'm not saying that she's gonna want to necessarily have sex with you or do things like that, but she's at least interested in seeing you again at, at the very minimum, okay? So look out for someone who is touching you quite a bit. Here's another huge one. Again, I'm giving you the signs that she is highly attracted to you, highly attracted to you. Let's imagine you get her number. Let's imagine you guys have already been texting a little bit and you've already set up a date, which I've been explaining to you in many videos, right? It's your job to set up the date and, and move the interaction forward once you get her phone number to set up the date. So imagine this, the date's a couple of days away. She text messages you first asking you a question. Very good sign that she's very interested in you. Of course, she's already interested in you because she's agreed to go on the date with you, but she's 
definitely attracted to if she's trying to initiate conversation for no good reason over text message. Or imagine you guys have been on a few dates, right? So you guys have been on one, two, three dates. Maybe you guys have even gotten intimate at this point and now she's texting you first in the morning or she's the one to initiate text message. Good sign. This is a way for a woman to show interest. She knows she's doing it. She's throwing herself out there. She's putting herself on the line. So this is good. These are good signs initiating texting. Here's another one. And this is something I do talk about a lot in the Hooked program. This is a big sign that she's interested in you. Is she's asking you personal questions. So in the Hooked program, I actually tell you not to start with boring topics. Like, what do you do? Where are you from? And, and you know, do you come here a lot? And asking those really boring questions. However, what's really interesting about those questions is if a woman that you're just meeting. So this is based off of an initial approach, meaning you're doing a cold approach, meeting with her, talking to her, and you get to a point in the conversation where she starts asking you those questions. So where are you from? What do you do? Do you like to come here? What do you like to do on the weekends? Like anything personal, those boring questions, this is really, really big signs that she's interested in you. These are personal questions. And while I'm telling you, don't ask those to girls because they're boring, that's good, and you don't want to show too much interest anyways. On the other hand, when she's asking you them, it's like, whoa, jackpot, you are wanting to get to know me. Because if a girl's not interested in you off of an approach, she's not going to ask you those questions because those are personal questions where you guys might have a long conversation about them. She's not interested in having a long conversation with you. She's not interested. She won't do that. And on a date, you'd imagine she probably will do that anyways. On a date, it's interesting. It holds less weight on a date because on a date, what else are you going to talk about? Like those are the things you're going to talk about. So it does not necessarily that she's that interested or highly attracted to you. But when she asks those questions on an initial approach, or maybe even on an, an initial virtual date you guys met online, then that means that she's very attracted and very interested and in, in, in trying to get more invested in you. More on this in my Hooked program where you can learn all the different signs that she, she's interested in how to use dominance, or I should say leadership to lead the interaction forward in the way where you guys are getting to the point where you're, you're on more dates, you're having sex, maybe she becomes your girlfriend. That whole process is explained and I give the techniques on how to do it in the Hooked program. There's a link in the description down below or you can just type it in, getherhooked.com, really simple. But I want you to write down right now in the comments, out of these signs, right? So we talked about touching you a lot, texting you first, and the next one which is asking you the personal questions, but not on a date on more of the initial interaction. Out of all those, write down which ones you've experienced. I want to hear from you. We all want to hear from you, right? We want to hear your progress, your success, and what's going on. So write that down in the comments below, and I'll see you on the next video.